what's up naysayers with us what's up patreons now what i want to talk about today is this um y'all know i have a large male following um i'd, I'd like to grow my female following because that's where i began from but um i have a question for men that i want to ask and um please put them in the comments below because y'all know you know, I be getting all kinds of wolves and stuff coming over to this channel, giving me, I don't know, all kinds of craziness. But, I, is it, have you men became so, like, you know, like so, what's the word, so, so disgruntled with women because of the makeup and the hair that they wear? I mean, it's terrible. Like, don't get me wrong, I've been natural for about 15 years, really. And I don't know how to be no other way but natural, right? Like, I don't know how to, like, put makeup on every day. I don't, I don't like sitting in um, hair salons and getting my hair done and, you know, waiting four hours to get my hair done and then she going out there and you know she going to go talk to Kiki and them and then I'm still looking in the chair looking crazy and you know you didn't put me underneath the dryer for three goddamn hours and you know damn well it only took one hour or two hours for my hair to dry but you put me under there for an extra hour because you wanted to get, eat something I'm not and please forgive me hairdressers if I have some hairdressing naysayers but I'm not you know I'm just not for all that I'm I can't I can't do that so I've been natural a long time but have you men became so disgruntled about the women with the weaves and the the makeup and like what is that about now granted women I have I need your guidance too because I'm like wait when we were growing up in the 70s and 80s because y'all know 45 fitting to be 46 we didn't wear like heels and and I'm not downing y'all I'm not but we didn't wear like heels and um we didn't wear heels and 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 like you know a lot of makeup like we didn't do it I mean it was some girls but most of us we're wearing sweatsuits and, and you know, getting our own hair done. We, at the most, we might have did, like, a Chinese bob in the 80s. But, like, the way they're doing it now, um, when I ask the young ladies, I'd be like, um, young ladies, why do, why do you wear the hair? And they're like, well, I have long hair underneath. It's a protective style. Granted, granted. But this is the thing, young ladies, and I'm giving you a little piece. This is from my heart to yours. If you're wearing a protective style and your hair is, and you're saying your hair is long underneath, is it, does it still count if it's like just this one piece right here that's long and then the rest of it's like messed up? Does it still count? Because see, are you guys getting it like trimmed and, you know, and cut? Are you taking care of it? underneath of the the weave because if you're not taking care of it under the weave like when you take the weave off if you have that you know the top part looks like this and then one part is like seven inches long and this little piece right here is only like two inches long does it still count as a protective style i'm just asking i'm just asking i don't know i don't know but so it's kind of hard to use that excuse of I'm using it as a protective style if you're you're not protecting your hair underneath if it looks busted and I think that's what also men are talking about like why why are you not like taking care of your own hair if you're spending like all that money on weave are you taking care of your hair you know I mean I'm ladies I'm trying to help us out I'm trying to help you and then like let me ask you men questions when you men be like saying all these women out here they all wearing weaves they all you know wearing all this makeup to be quite honest with you men everybody all my girlfriends are natural like all my like i think i know two it's two people at work where i work at and they're young people that wear weaves so it's not as many women that are wearing 
weaves and makeup every day as you think it is or you try to portray it to be maybe because you be looking at the women on Instagram every day and maybe because those hussies be wearing you know weaves and you know tracks and stuff and a rack of makeup every day but in real life I mean ladies help me out men help me out at your job be honest how many women actually wear weaves every day and if you work at a strip club, that don't count. You can't count that. All them, you know, that's part of the fantasy, the long hair. But I'm being honest with you. Like, uh, majority of the women are natural that I know. Now, as far as the younger women, I can't really say for sure. I can't really give that. I don't know. I mean, if it's young women that's wearing the weave, and because I don't associate with young women like that, that could be my bad. My bad. But still, put below, answer the question, how many women are actually, in real life, wearing weaves every day? I mean, it's probably like, I don't know, probably like 15 women where I work at that are natural, and then two of them are wear weaves. Like, I don't, I don't get why men make it, you know, seem like every black woman wants to have a weave on their head. I don't I don't get that. So but I just think the way that men come at us about wearing the makeup and then let me say this, let me dig into your shiz. Men, if women wear weaves and makeup is your fault. If women looking like that is your fault. Because you put exotic women so high on a pedestal that it messes with the woman's psyche, with the black woman's psyche. And I'm keeping it real right now. I've talked about this before, but I'm going to talk about it again. You, you men, particular men, not all men, but you men that talk so down on a black woman. You guys make it seem like a white woman, a Spanish woman, a Kim Kardashian or whatever it is is so above us that the black woman wants to look. Like that woman that you put above us. Can you dig it? I mean, I'm giving you facts. These young black girls believe that you don't pay them no mind unless they got all that weave in their hair. So it's your fault. They think that if they wear all that makeup to make themselves look exotic, that you'll pay attention to them. If they put them 42 inches in their hair, you'll pay attention to them and don't give me that bs about um black women need to be more confident in themselves listen we are women we bleed every month we go through emotions every day all day that's how god made us emotional we they we, we came out insecure and for all you women that be like uh-uh i'm confident shut up hussy shut up you're not confident 24 hours a day get out my face you're not we all look in the mirror and be like you know, like Kim Kardashian is like one of the most beautiful women. She made it that way. She went to the doctor and made it that way. So is Amber Rose, like one of the most beautiful, the most beautiful women on earth. They made it that way. But trust me, they still go in the mirror every day and look at themselves and be like, oh, I could change this about myself. I could change that about myself. And then if you want to keep it real, real talk, man, from what I understand as a two inch rule, you guys look down at yourself every day and be like oh i can use another two inches ding so don't come at me about insecurities and women need to be more secure because we might be secure about i mean insecure about our looks but y'all be insecure about y'all penises ding so but you know men always think they better you know you knock us for wanting to look more exotic for you know to be more attractive to y'all so we put makeup and hair on our face but then we don't knock y'all, you know, for having, well, some women do be digging in y'all talking about y'all be having small penises or short penises or whatever. But if you could, if it was a doctor over there in Zimbabwe that could put two more inches on your penis, you would run over there. So don't do me. Don't do me. This just be a trip. But um, just to close out right quick, to close out, men, men, just keep in mind when you see a woman with that, you know, the, the, the hair and the makeup, don't disrespect her. Just tell her, I bet you look beautiful without all that on your face.
help encourage us to be more secure with our blackness and our own black beauty and to be natural. You feel me? Um, and also, um, women, please just try not to wear so much makeup. Just try it. You might be surprised how beautiful you are if you just wake up without all the makeup. Deuce, guys.